So here we are at the Barview Jetty again. It's the North Jetty, the uh, the easy jetty to get to. And we're gonna start off with trying out this swim bait. It's already been a proven fish killer with uh, <laughs> ling cod, so we're gonna give it a try. And See how it goes. Seas aren't terribly bad today. They are splashing and I am getting mildly damp. I didn't get the fish last week. I uh, caught a cold. And so I didn't get to fish last week, so I'm going through some withdrawals. And I didn't really want to kind of get out today. Mentally, I wanted to fish, but physically, <laughs> I wasn't there. This is a half ounce jig head with a, about a six inch, five inch swim bait on it. I always cut the nose off so it sits a little bit better. Tide's coming in still. It's going to be coming in for a little while yet. Oh, I think I found a... Uh, last time I was out here I caught like six starfish. <laughs> Excuse me. Still getting over that cold a little bit. Got some remnants on the cough and stuff like that. Put this away for a few minutes. I'm gonna throw a little piece of surf perch, or uh, not surf perch, but uh, sand shrimp. And whoa, wow, that was uh, a pretty good splash. All right. So this is a new rod. I went looking for an SST in a medium heavy that I could use for salmon and steelhead and fishing out here and the place I went didn't have any. And they had this. Now, I don't know if this rod is any good or not. This is a, a new one. This is a uh, uh, blue something. Let me see. What is this here? A blue diamond, see that right there? It's an Akuma blue diamond. It's a 10 foot rod, uh, up to 30 pound line weight. Unfortunately, Akuma did not say, you know, like what weight the rod is, what kind of weights to throw with the rod, that stuff like that. <clears throat> and so, kind of playing it by ear here. Oop, got a bite. Fish on. Well. Well, there was a fish on. Oh, still on. Feels like, maybe. We'll see. Nope. No fish. There's a bite. Another bite. There we go, fish on. I don't know. I can't feel it. But whatever it was, it took the bait pretty good. Well, <laughs> sure did take the bait pretty good. It 
took all the sand shrimp off the one. Let's throw it back out there. I have a filly with surf perch. I may have to go to a smaller hook. If that's the case, I'll put on a piece of sandworm. I still got a piece of bait on one of them. Well, oh, this guy's. Ooh, bite, bite. Ooh, nice hard bite, hard bite, hard bite, hard bite. I don't think it's on there though. No, it's not. I think there's a, it's either a greenling or a surf perch down here. It's might not a pretty hard. I'm gonna go cast back out of that same spot. And if I don't hook it, uh, I think I'm gonna go with a smaller hook. Oh. Oh, here we go, fish on. Yep, I got it this time. Ah, oh, yes. There we go. Oh man, it's in the rocks. See if we can get it out of the rock. Oh, goodness. There we go, I think it's out. Yep, it's out of the rocks. Let's see, what do we get? What do we get? I'm gonna say it's probably a greenly. Whoop! Look at there. Jump greenling. That's what's been biting down there, and I got a hook that's way too big for its mouth. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, come on. That is what has been biting. Let me uh, take out my pliers. Sure are pretty fish though. Whoops, see that? Look at this. What do you guys think? It's a pretty fish. Yeah. Get over here where, how about that? Yep. Oh, we got a bite. Felt like a surf perch. Wow, look at the Right by the foghorn. Did a bite. Oh, there we go. Fish on. I think. Yeah, I think. I think we have a little fish. Oh, and it went into the rock. See if it can come out. Yep, it came out. Yep, but the fish is gone. Here we go. Got it. Oh yeah, this is a fish. It's a decent fish. Just keep him up out of the rocks. Let's see what do we get. Ah, looks like a greenling. A little one. No. A little rock bass. Arr.
I need to get a pair of pliers that are similar to the other ones. Some of those scissors that can sit in a uh, uh, little holster thing. All right. Show you this little itty bitty rock bass. Not even, <laughs> not long enough for anything but more than just being bait. We'll uh, put it up here in front of this camera here for everybody to see. So check that out. There is a rock bass. <laughs> the outflow is pretty good on this right now. I'm throwing a two ounce weight and I'm throwing a little bit on the outside where it's going out and it's pulling up pretty fast and I'm getting a bite. I have a feeling there's a whole bunch of little little rock bass and greenlings down there. I got this one. Oh, this one's got some fight. Oh yeah. <laughs> this one's got a little bit of fight in it. <laughs> what is it? <clears throat> Another little baby rock bass. Hey, knock it off. See? There you go. Another one. <laughs> yeah, I think I found a little school of them down there. And there's little ones. There might be a lingcod. That would be awesome. Here we go again. Little fish, too. Here we go. Got him. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Across the top of the water. <laughs> Another, look at that. That's bait. That's all that is right there. There you go. <laughs> Here, for comparison. You get comfortable for a second or two. All the bait moves where it needs to. Here we go again. Here we go. Look at that. And guess what? I still got a little piece of sand shrimp on here. <laughs> I don't care if I'm catching those little ones. I would like to get daddy. Or their mama. There we go. Bite, bite, bite. Bite, bite. Tug, tug, tug. 
There we go. Oh, here we go. Well, oh, this one's got a little bit of... He got a little poop in him. <laughs> cast after cast of these little these little ones. Huh. I'll be damned. My weight's gone. Well, at least I was just fighting just to fish. <laughs> oh, I got a hit already. <laughs> They're the little ones. More little ones. He's on. He's on. Oh, my goodness. Here comes a big wave. Get this guy up here, boom, before this wave hits. Boom! Lots of little black rockfish. Look at there. What do you think? <laughs> Alarm! Oh, go swimming with the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> 